Welcome to JTMJ Crafts. How you guys doing? Today we are working on a tutorial of Native American beading. I have my loom ready. Basically tie just your standard hoop knot. I put that over top of this nail. And I bring it Straight up, whatever looks sh the straightest off of that nail. Put your finger on top of it and then run it straightest off of this side. Wrap it under this side and then bring it right back into Oh wait, that's not exactly center. There we go. That one's center. So then you bring it right back into the next one beside it. And then the same here. Loop. Next hole. Uh oh. My string's getting tied up over here. The heck happened? It wasn't even a knot. So, there we go, no, not that one, that one, that one, loop it, you gotta keep this pretty snug too, you don't want a lot of tension in it, so I'm always... Sorry, I was trying to get my string cleared up. So I'm always putting a finger on it, finding my row I want to go off of. Go to the next one. Put a finger on it. You want eight ro eight strands on this because it is five. Okay, we got two, four, six, eight. Okay, we got eight. Um, you have seven beads wide. So you want it to basically, I don't know, you guys probably can't see that, but basically look like that. And then I always run it through this side and then take it th around the thread that's running this way. And pull it down and then run it back through this way and then I like to come on work with me here put it back through the mi middle where I had that loop sorry guys My fingers are too skinny and fat and short and all the such things. And then I wrap it around this a couple of times. And then I pull it back in here, wrap it. Sorry, I'll show you my last tie. Okay. 
Uh, I just loop it all together. Pull it nice and tight. Make a couple ties like that. Okay, that'll hold just fine. You got your eight wire, eight, I don't know, I, I keep calling it wire, it's not wire, it's like string. You got some good tension to it. So, now, I made this one in Mrs. Coffee's Live a couple weeks ago. Took me a couple hours to make it. I got a Put a knot on this. Oh, I have a knot. Shouldn't pull out then. So, I'm going to use this grid. I'm just going to change a color. Since I used a bunch of white out of my box of beads, I want to skip the white this go around. In the future, I will make this one. This one's a little bit more fancier. Plus, it's quite a bit longer. I want to start it simple. It's tricky enough to get this wired up or <sighs> strand up wired up why do, I, why do i keep calling everything wire gee louise so i may end up and change a couple other colors because i was thinking about doing red white and blue instead of doing the red's gonna go where the white's at I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I have a couple of trays over here. Pin. Keep track of your lines or rows you are working in. These are what I call practice beads because they're kind of crappy, to be honest. I think I paid $20 for this kit at, at um, off of Amazon. Crappy. And I'll show you why they're crappy. You see all the different size thicknesses? Like, see this one right here? It's like really fat. Other ones are real skinny. So, a lot of broken ones. I'm using them as practice beads to get the hang of things. It tells you how different thicknesses they are. They're horrible. So, I'm going to get a piece of thread. I need to buy, a, like, a big old thing of this stuff because I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to need it. Oops, as I drop it on the floor. So, sorry, I got sidetracked. I forgot what the hell I was doing. You're going to want to take this first string. You're going to want to cut off a section of, of the string or yarn or whatever the, it's not yarn, whatever they call this stuff. It's not thread because it's a lot thicker than thread. Oh, come on. Can't even tie a knot. 
This stuff's so twisty. It's basically just a regular knot. That's all I've ever tied them with. I don't know if there's an actual proper knot to tie them with. I usually give it one knot. And then give it one more. And that's held everything I have ever done. But I make sure they're pulled tight as tight as can be. And then let's connect. Sorry. Um, like trying to pace myself because I'm getting nervous. But it's okay. I'm not that nervous. I used to do this stuff all the time. I just gotta slow down. And they could have gave me like the smallest damn needle. So, you have your needle and string. You pick up seven. I try to go for is equally in size. For the run that I'm going. But these are so different sized. It's not even funny. It's five. Six and seven. Slide it all the way down. Your line. Oops, I did that the wrong way. I did it the right way. I had a brain fart. This first row is always your most trickiest of trickiest spots to get everything lined up but once you get this first row going after that everything is a cakewalk I'm just trying to get the beads to all sit in between the rows and not give me a problem Sit between that row. Man, it took me like 45 minutes to get this going last time. Patience, because they are a virtue. Okay, I got them all in place. Now the most trickiest of trickiest parts is taking your hook with all your thread and 
I take my finger and put it over top of them. I will flip this over so you guys can see. And then you run your needle all the way through. And you want to make sure you go over top of every strand that's running this way. Go over top of all those strands. And a quick way to tell is let go of it. And if any of these move down a lot, you're, uh, you need to start over. But these look like they're all over top of it. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this through. That's the most trickiest of... That's the most trickiest. I'm going to just pull it together nice and tight. Okay. I got them all. None of them push and be loose. They're all tight together, so I give it a good snug. Okay, that's the first row in this pattern. The second row is exactly the same thing. It all depends on your pattern you pick. So, seven more beads. One, two, three. I've slide it down and seven. So how are you guys today? How is your day been? My day's been pretty crazy. Now It's spaced relatively close to where you want it because the different sizes in the beads plays a part in, as you see here, how skinny some spots are and some spots are fat because the beads are different sizes. So, same thing again. Pull this backwards, put my thumb on it to put pressure on it. Go over top of all of the strands. That one in the middle is going to be tricky. Pull it through. Oops, I pulled the hook out. If this last one falls out of place like this, It's okay. Don't freak out. It will pull itself back into place. You always want to make sure everything stays nice and tight. And then the next row, mark my spot where I'm at. And I'm starting the next row, and it's going to go blue, one blue bead. Oh, I gotta restring my thread. So we're gonna go blue, and we're gonna go, should we do this blue? This blue, or this blue. I already used this blue. I think I like this blue, but I like this blue too. Those are almost clear. Ah, let's go with this blue. So we need one blue. Try to get them. Medium size, slide it down. Now we need one, two, three, four, five 
red. Five, slide them down. One, blue, one, blue. Oh, try to keep it about the same size because these are all different sizes. Slide it on down. Right into place like so. I always put my thumb over top. Oops, didn't do a very good job that time. Flip it over. So I always make sure I get all those threads underneath the hook. If you go over top of that hook or over top of these, the diamond's going to move freely, and you're going to have a one diamond that's loose and out of place. Our diamond, jeez Louise, I'm diamond painting in my head while I'm working on other projects. So... There's that. Now we need... Oh, come on. Uh, two blues and three reds. So, two blues, down, three reds. Down to blues. Like I said, that first row is your the most technical spot. After that, they all fall right into place. It's actually I think it's just as relaxing as diamond painting. So you guys can see a little better. Trying to make sure you guys are getting a good enough visual, so if you do try to make a video or try it, I know Sister Addiction, she's going to be making videos doing it when she learns how to do it. Sister, it's, it's a piece of cake. It's easy, easy, easy. The hardest part is beating your loom with, you know, put, putting the lines on and getting that first row started. After that, it's a cakewalk. So like, I'm gonna mark off that section. Now I need three blues and one red. Some of these are fat, 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 fat boys. So try, I'm just trying to keep all of them about equally sized. And then three more blues. Three blues. Wish there was a way. I guess there would be a way if I put my drafting table at an incline.
But then my bees would be all over the place too, so. Now, this one line wants to stay pushed out. Get a little technical on me here, a little turd. My trash can doubles. There, I'll move it so you guys can see it. My trash can for trash drills for diamond painting. It's magnetized and it holds my hook. <laughs> or my hook. Duh. My needle. So now we're going to do, do I want to put the green in there? Well, I'm doing it all ass backwards if I wanted to go red, white, blue. Uh, Nah, mish, mosh, mosh, pish. I'm gonna put this green in there. It's a pretty, almost like chameleon, or I don't know, it's almost like an albalone pearlish color to it. So I'll use some of that. So, the next one, sorry, I kind of got a little squirreled over here. I'm like, what did I do? I did three blues, one white. Three blues, one red, jeez. Because I'm looking at the pattern and I'm like, okay, I, I'm using red instead of white. So, it, it threw me off for a second. I'm not going to lie, it threw me off. I should have grafted out the correct way instead of just changing the color and trying to remember it in my head. But I figured it'd be... Just as easy to do it this way, but yeah, I kind of stumbled with my head. So, green, blue, blue. Okay, so I need... One green. And... Five blues. One... Two, three, five. Sorry if anybody's counting and I'm screwing you up. And one more green. I know there's there's a, some crafts out there that uh, go by numbering. And if I'm over here yelling out colors, or colors, Squirrel yelling out numbers, it could confuse you. I tend to find myself doing this a lot, a lot where I will actually pick up the loom to look and make sure I've got everything because it's a pain in the butt to back out of where you've already threaded. Let me tell you, I, I screwed up on the first one I made. 
Yeah, you want to see? Does it look funny right here? See these? The yellows go all the way down. The yellows go all the way down. These, I put greens instead of yellows, like a dork. But, oh well. Um, let's see. What's my next move? I did that one. So, uh, let's see. I'm trying to think of what to use next. I think I got every tray I have out here being used. Um, it calls for yellow, but I want to change it to a different color. Do I want to change it to a different color? But it's just hard. It's going to be hard to remember what that color goes. I should graph this out by myself because I have the graph paper. But I decided to be lazy, but... Put some black in there, instead of yellow. Put some black in the coconut, instead of yellow. Uh, let's see. I don't know where the hell that just came from. But, uh, sure. So, yellow equals black. And then a green. And three blues. Three blues, and then a green, and a black. Is that correct? That's correct. Always pays to look. Because sometimes where I messed up on this with the yellow, I was not paying attention to where I was going. When I was going and how I was going. Psh. Yeah. It was confusing. Nope. That's why I always pay to look. I missed. I missed a, one of the lines going across, and I looked, there it was, pays to look. Okay, so now I gotta remember, yellow is black, black, okay, that's gonna be confusing, I don't know why I'm changing colors, I should just... Do this one completely over. Shh. So then I'm gonna go. Red. Yellow, which is black. Green. Green. Oh, I need one blue in between those two greens. Green. Black, red. Yeah, see, I made it confusing for myself. Try to... Mix up the colors, and I, instead of just making it an easy pr process for you guys to watch and learn, 
But no, I gotta go and make it hard. When you get better at it, you won't even have to look. About three quarters of the way with that one, I stopped looking and I got it right. So, I hope I'm informational. I'm um, information. Um, I have enough information for you guys to learn this without making it such a weird video. Excuse me. I had a good drink. Okay, so let's begin again. So I just finished this line. So we're on red, red. Okay. Yellow. Black. See, I made it confusing. Yeah, I made it confusing because green. Yellow and reds. So the next video I do on this will be probably in a week or two because. Next week, I got a cooking video for you guys. I just need to make it a little bit more simpler for you guys. Oh, you can go through there. Is there one of these beads have a problem with it? Yes, this bead has a freaking teeny tiny hole in it, so I gotta try to take it off. Yeah, there's no way that's going back through that. That needle's going back through that. That's why these these beads are. Not very good. They're on the crappy side. But for 20 bucks for the set that I got, it's not that bad of a price. I just wish the quality was there. So I need one more red that has a bigger hole. Damn it, I just pulled my hook out, or, God, why did I keep calling it a hook? I think I'm crocheting over here.
Man, I'm telling you. I'm struggling tonight. I imagine this video going a lot smoother. Not so all over the place. But I'm usually all over the place anyway, so what does it matter? You guys can always message me if you have any questions. I am not taking any messages. Well, I'm taking messages if it's about something about me or the channel. I'll take your message, but if it's drama, nope, I ain't doing it. I'm done. Okay, there's that one. I just did this one. You gotta keep. You gotta mark your. You gotta mark your spots. Otherwise, you get off track. So I need three reds. Now I'm trying to make sure the holes are big enough to go back through again. Because if not, it's pointless. Three reds, a yellow, and three reds. I was just luckily that that bead was the last bead on the, the line and it was just pull the hook off, pull the bead off, and you're done. You can make all kinds of stuff with these things. I know people make jewelry. Earrings, all kinds of stuff like that. Oh, let's see. Next line I completed. Now we need to go all seven reds. Seven reds. Let's see, three, six, seven. No, don't pull the needle out, Jeremy. That's my biggest thing. I always seem to pull the needle out when I gotta re-thread it. I mean, it, it only takes a second to re-thread the needle. Stab yourself on the finger, it means you did it right. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I stabbed myself in the finger a couple of times. You can always make this with tons of different kinds of beads. I've seen people make some crazy, crazy stuff. I've always done stuff like this. And this is my what I like doing. Okay, so we did all whole row of reds. Now we need another whole row of reds. Jeez.
oven. Good lord. There's another row of all red. I'm trying to go fast. I'm sorry if I'm not talking because I am trying to concentrate and try to remember what wacko pattern I gave this because I'm changing colors as I'm going. Well, I'm not changing, not as I'm going, but I'm changing colors. Six. Oh, I missed those last ones. Ah, uh, screwing it up over here. Trying to... Not look and see if I'm... Clearing the strands. Okay. Oh gosh, another row of all red. Three. And four. So some people told me I can get some beads at Fire Mountain, I believe it was called. So I am going to be putting an order in with them. Get some diamonds, they're diamond or get some beads. Their beads look really nice. It's the problem with different size beads. You get this little wompy bit because these beads are bigger than these beads, but they're beads, so can't complain much. Okay, so we're finally to a Blue. Blue. I want a nice size blue, not something monstrosity. And we're going five reds. One. And then One blue. I feel more comfortable doing it like this by flipping it over. 
If I'm standing up, I can do it normally. Because I can kind of see where I'm taking it to. But sitting down, like, it's kind of more tricky. So... Two blues and three reds. And two blues. So, sister. I want to see some work from you. If you need help, let me know. I'm always here. If you need actual help, I'm always one step away. So, without making this a horrendously long video, I'm probably going to make this two parts. Because I'm, I'm only... to here on the chart. And I still got all that to go, so... Probably just gonna cut it off here. Um, I will put this up and well actually I'm just gonna continue on to record the next video. Get this done tonight since I'm on it. I don't wanna have to have diamonds <sighs> beads out everywhere. Diamonds, beads. <sighs> Tell you what. Alright, so. This is where I'm going to leave you guys off. You will see another video of this. Maybe. Maybe Wednesday next week. I'll do it as a whip and check next week. Yeah. Let's do that. So, I'm going to give you guys all. Peace. Treat each other how you want to be treated. Don't forget, everything is linked down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Everything is linked. Affiliates, email if you want to get in touch with me. Instagram, Facebook group. All the goodness is down below. Hope you all have a fantastic day. Let's take an up-close look of what our work is for the day. This next one that I want to do, after I complete this, it is more tricky and inner, um, um, the hell word am I looking for? It's a lot more trickier. Because it's got a lot more different pattern to it. But, have a great day everybody. Much appreciate you. Peace. Out.